we have just defeated the Vampire Guardian in the tomb of the Seraphan. And did a... Well, we found out a few things about what had happened back in Raziel's past. Turns out he was a Seraphan, a member of the vampire hunting clan that had killed so many vampires back hundreds of years before Cain lived. Back during the time of Malak, the leader of the Seraphan. Well, the nature of the Seraphim's death really doesn't matter at this point. It was hundreds of years ago, and they were human, so you'd have to suspect that they'd be dead by this point anyway. But it was a really disturbing thing for somebody like Malak, who... Or, not Malak. Uh, some... Somebody like, uh... Shit! You don't actually need to kill these guys. Just knock this back a few times, and then let yourself fall into the, um... Uh, I guess that did it. Uh, somebody like Raziel, who hated the Seraphim for such a long time, hated the human race, I imagine, because um, there was an attitude about the Seraphim among the vampires, which seemed to be pretty prevalent, that they were... Uh, Cain held this attitude. Malak, not Malak. Damn, I keep saying that. Cain held this attitude. Raziel had this attitude. Vorador held this attitude, and it was that the Seraphan were these sanctimonious people that went around and slaughtered vampires, irrespective of what, uh, of who they were actually killing. Like, and this, there were definitely evil vampires, and, uh, hold on, cutscene. Oh, not quite yet. They were definitely evil vampires. Cain was definitely an evil vampire, and by virtue of Cain making Raziel, Raziel was an evil vampire as well. Vorador was definitely an evil vampire. No one would weep over his death, I imagine. But I can't imagine that they were all evil, and Seraphan didn't matter. They went around killing everyone. So you get quite a few of these people just look at... The Seraphan and are outright disgusted over what they find. No, save point. So to determine that, yeah, 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 you are a Seraphan, you are the evil that we have been standing up for, or all of that, is pretty big blow to him. And to note that not only was he one of the, one of the Seraphan, all of his vampire lieutenant brothers who are also Seraphan. So here he is going around hunting the people who used to hunt vampires, got turned into a vampire, and now he's hunting them as vampires. So really he is no different than the Seraphan. Of course, someone might think that, well, there's a difference between what the Seraphan were doing and what Raziel was doing is doing now. Raziel's after, like, immediate retribution after what had happened to him, his murder and his, um... Well, his murder and being tossed into the abyss. I mean, obviously, I'd want to kill a bunch of people if they did that kind of shit to me. But, I mean, you probably think everybody who goes on a vengeful sort of um, vengeful slaughter like this probably has the same thing in mind so it's ah shit uh, no 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 damn it I'm gonna have to find my way all the way back up I hate platforming in these old PS1 games because I really didn't know how to do it at the time and the analog controls weren't right and, uh, I can't even get through that all right, I'm gonna. I gotta retreat back over to here. 
The damn camera, that's what happened. Character movement really should not be respected to the way the camera moves. Or a character movement shouldn't be respected to the camera movements. That kind of stuff just messes you up. Ah, uh, now I, I'm up here and I don't have any souls to eat, so I can't... Oh, there's one up there. Okay, maybe I can get that one down here. No, no, that one's not coming down. Ah, uh, he's slowly regenerating his health anyway. This is a setback. I was kind of hoping to only make this episode about 20 minutes long, and I figured that was a realistic option, but if I'm going to keep falling off of things, it's not going to work out for me. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Now, Rahab is the master of this area, and this was a... Uh, this was in a sort of religious outpost standing against the vampire horror. The humans have essentially been defeated in the majority of the world, although we still see a few vampire hunters running here and there, but I imagine uh, back maybe around the time that Razael was still a vampire, there were a number of human outposts. This may have been one of them. But this area was... I don't know if the vampires ever really attacked it, or if the the um, poisoning of the world caused all of this caused all of the um, water to just sort of swamp this place essentially making it impossible for regular vampires as well as humans even to continue to exist here because I mean how can a person live here there's too much water everywhere but also how could a vampire live here they are burned by water on the touch. Of course, Rahab, as the Elder God referred to him, as has um, gone and adapted to the environment. He no he no longer gets burned by water like acid. He can actually swim around. In fact, we'll see. Some of these guys have actually managed to become quite powerful, along with all of his vampire brothers, uh, vampire underlings. They have all evolved the ability to swim. In fact, I've killed a few of these things since we've arrived here, and um, they look kind of like fish or sharks or snakes or something like that. Ah, you son of a bitch. How do you like that? Oh, you're not dead? There, now you're dead. Come on, give me that soul. Pesky snake monster. Of course, they never managed to overcome their limitation to sunlight. Now, you probably think, like, oh, vampires, they can't wander around in the sun. And that was never really the case in the Legacy of Cain series. Back in Blood Omen, Cain made a mention that, like, oh, he never expected such cruelty from the sunlight, he says. I think that's an exact quote. And when he's walking around in the daytime, he is affected by it. But it doesn't just set him on fire the way it would, like, Nosferatu or anything like that. Vampires in this world generally aren't killed by the sunlight, although it is noted that the younger vampires are, in fact, uh, set on fire when they walk into the sunlight. I guess it all really depends on the individual vampire. The fledgling vampires are devastated by the sunlight. The older ones can survive it. And Cain's empire had gone and constructed a large factory that pump smoke out into the sky in order to sort of um, block out the sun to an extent and that has um, that has allowed the weaker vampires to go and continue to uh, continue to populate the world and not really have to worry about dying so much but it seems like Looks like Rahab's clan was especially vulnerable to the sunlight and their uh, 
they never managed to overcome that weakness. Although they did overcome another quite significant weakness being the the uh, allergy to water. That's a, that's a pretty big uh, thing to overcome. But the uh, inability to walk around during the sun in the sunlight that's that's kind of significant. To note, Kane though, even when he was a fresh new young vampire, he wasn't someone who was affected terribly much by sunlight. He could walk around in the sunlight. You just I don't think he considered it to be particularly pleasant. Ready for some more irritating platforming? Because I got some of that right coming up. Now Razael can climb. Remember we got that from uh, Zephon a couple episodes back. Boom. Don't really use it as much as you probably should. Don't really need this, but got it anyway. Oh my god, this looks terrible. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. Why haven't you died yet? There we go. Haha. -ha. Not enough. These guys are pains in the asses. Well, now that Raziel has um, gained the ability from the Tomb Guardian to go and to go and launch projectiles, either out of the Reaver or out of his hands. He's gained quite, that's quite a significant power. I'm surprised that he got such a powerful ability out of somebody who wasn't one of the vampire lieutenants. It's more or less just a regular vampire that was put into the task of, um, of, uh, guarding the Seraphan tomb. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, you son of a bitch! You know where I am? I have fallen way back into the area that I was in in the beginning when I fell down before. That's where I am right now. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Thirteen minutes. I almost made my friggin' timetable. Almost. Actually, you know what? I didn't fall all the way that far. That far. Sweet! All I have to do is, uh, climb that stupid, uh, thing and jump across to those rafters again. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna keep my time and not record this. <laughs> okay, here we are. I'm here, but I'm in the spectral realm instead of the material realm, so... I don't know what kind of gameplay differences... That's gonna fuck! Now! Okay, I figure it's difficult for me to screw it up at this point, so let's go. Alrighty, alright, alright. Uh, hop across this. And don't screw that up. And what are we looking for? Where is it? Where is it? That's not it. That's not it. Something we gotta hop over to. What? Am I lost? That's where I started. There it is. Did I run past that? Not even see it? Now up here we have to pull this chain. And the door down below has been opened. 
Now getting down here, we're going to end up uh, falling into a pool of water, so we're going to lose our material realm status. But that's okay. Because we're coming up on the other side. And now, time for some more irritating platforming. Just suck up the soul just so we can return back to the material realm when we need to. Okay, a couple more. Shit, the camera almost did it to me again. Alright, there we go. That's the destination. Ah, oh, damn it! You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> Just gonna make sure you release the running button before you hit the ground, or else Raziel is gonna keep going after he after he lands. Okay. Uh, Adapted well to your environment, for one so maladjusted. Do not mock me, Raphael. You of all of us should respect the power bestowed by a limitation overcome. Cain said you would come. You speak with the murderer? You would do well to mind your blasphemous tongue. What more did he tell you? That you would destroy me. I will indeed. But tell me before I tear your soul from its moorings. Do you know what we were before Cain spawned us? Human. Seraphan Rahab, the antithesis of all we ever believed. Does it matter? We were lost. He saved us. Saved us? From what? From ourselves. Boss battle time. Now, we can't actually hurt Rahab, because, boom, we can't hit him with the weak reaver because we can't get close to him because he's in the water. Raziel would lose his, uh... What? What's going on? Okay. Raziel would lose his physical body. So, we have to go and take advantage of his weakness to sunlight. Go and smash these windows. Nope. Oh, down I go. Fortunately, I'm still on the platform with the, uh with a spawn point on it. It seems as though despite uh, despite gaining the knowledge that he was a Saraphan back before he died, uh, Rahab doesn't really seem to care. He's still loyal to Cain, and I imagine that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of loyalty we've seen out of all of the vampire lieutenants, as well as the Tomb Guardians so far. So maybe we can't expect Raziel to get too much sympathy out of for his uh, for his quest here. Okay, how many more? One or two? Okay, one more. One more. Boom. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body. 
enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Whoa! Splash! Swim! Jump! Awesome. 